Hello, welcome to The Daily Label. The Daily Label is our project where every day we look at a product and its ingredients and try and understand um, what they are and also look at a little bit of the nutritional value behind them so we can decide what kind of products we should be buying and eating or drinking. Amelia, what's today's product? Today's product is the hands beans and baked beans with pork sausages and in rich tomato sauce. In a rich tomato sauce? Mmm, what do you think that means? Very strong. Very strong? Mmm, okay, well that means it has to have a lot of tomatoes in it, doesn't it? Um, what does it say about... Um, oh, actually, look, before we look at the ingredients, it says here, it's low in sugar, no artificial flavours and no artificial preservatives. So that's quite a good start, isn't it? It's still got sugar in it. It says low in sugar, it must still have sugar in it. Um, beans, 40%. Tomatoes, 30%. Pork sausages, 15%. Pork, 55%. Ah, well, here you go. This is, this is, this is the thing. Um, our beans are 40%, our tomatoes are 30%, pork sausages are 15%. But then what we're, what we're finding out here is how much pork is actually in the pork sausages. And there's how much? 55. 55%. So they're just over half meat in those sausages. So what possibly could be the rest of it? Water. Uh-huh. Pre-starch. Mm -hmm. Salt, mm -hmm. spices, emulsified triphosphate. Triphosphates. Mm, that's a good word, isn't it? Well, the pea starch is there to really act as um, a bit of a thickener so that we can create a sausage out of not just meat. Um, and then you've got the emulsifier, which we know what emulsifiers do, don't we? What do they do, emulsifiers? They blend and stick things together. They stick things together. So the emulsifier, the triphosphates, are sticking the pea starch and the meat together to make a sausage. Now triphosphates um, are a mineral salt. Um, and whilst if you consume it in large quantities, it has been linked to uh, nausea and diarrhoea, it's unlikely that you're going to have a loss of triphosphates. You're not going to be spooning triphosphates into you. So... Um, but just think about um, how much you are eating of products that might contain triphosphates, just to be a little bit careful, because you never know. Um, then what else have we got? Uh, well, yeah, um, water, again, sugar, mm -hmm. spirit vinegar, modified corn flour, salt, spice extracts and herb extracts. So there's modified corn flour. What do you think that is? What do you think? What do you think's happened to the corn flour? I don't know. Mm, modified. What does that mean? Well, it means it's been changed in some way. It's not genetically modified. So that I think that's one thing that people are maybe concerned about when they see modified on a on an ingredients pack that they think it might have been genetically modified. But that's not the case. Um, what it means is it's just been changed in some way, and it's been changed through a chemical process to um, make it more useful in this particular product. Um, so it's probably used as a, it's probably used as a thickener. Yeah. Now what do we? Do? Well, I'm just curious about the sugar before I decide whether I'm going to eat or not eat this. Um, let's see whether we can look at the nutritional label. It says. Per 100 grams is 4 grams of sugar, so it's about 4% sugar. So, it's okay. I mean, it's they, they, that's why they've put low in sugar, because I think people are c concerned when they buy baked beans that they have a lot of sugar in them. Um, and look, it also says it's one of your five a day. Do you know what that means? Yeah. And you've got to have five, at least five portions of fruit and vegetables a day. So what's interesting here is, though, that um, the sausages are obviously quite processed and there's been a lot of um, talk recently especially about processed meat and how you probably should be avoiding it um, and I think given that this is 55% pork and then a lot of other bits and pieces you could probably definitely probably definitely given this is 
55% pork, you can definitely see this as a, as a processed meat um, more than any other. Okay, so now we're going to decide if it's an eat, not eat. We're going to decide if it's eat or not eat. Okay, are you ready? I'm One, steady. two, three, go. Ah, we're both not eat today. Why are you not eat? Because I think it's got lots of pork and I don't like pork and also I would not add sugar to this even though it's low percent but still I wouldn't. Uh, modified corn flour. It's just everything with chemicals so I wouldn't eat it. Sounds a bit chemical yeah. to you. And I wouldn't eat it because of the pork, because of the processed meat. Well, if they sell, you know when you go to the shop, they sell it without pork, would you eat that? Um, no, I'd probably make my own tomato sauce and my own beans. Yeah. Maybe, maybe sometimes. Sometimes you can have, sometimes you can have <coughs> beans on toast. It's a good meal, isn't it, beans on toast? That's what grandma does. That's what grandma does. That's what grandma does. Anyway. So, today's project is a not eat, a and we hope to see you, eat. um, Again at the dailylabel.com. Well, let us know whether you. Know, yeah. yeah. let us know whether you would eat this in, in the comments below. In the comments, and also subscribe so we can see you again tomorrow. Bye bye. bye.